In this tutorial, I will explain the basics of working with a toolkit tool. When starting toolkit, you will be presented with the main window. At the top of the main window is the title bar, which displays the name of the tool once you have it open. The title bar also contains a button for launching the toolkit help. Many of the windows in Toolkit have a Help button in the title bar, which opens the Toolkit Help to the appropriate help topic for the window. Below the title bar is the ribbon. The main tab on the ribbon allows you to open and close tools and work with a device. Working with a device includes connecting, disconnecting, loading applications, viewing the current communications session statistics and, for devices that support it, save parameter value changes to the device's non-volatile memory. The View Ribbon tab allows you to navigate in a tool, view the tool properties, view the diagnostics log of Toolkit and view the help about Toolkit. The Diagnostics log window is used to show details of errors and Toolkit usage. The Help About window shows the Toolkit version and license information. The Settings ribbon tab allows you to work with settings. For more information on working with settings, see the Toolkit Help or the Working with Settings video tutorial. The Tools ribbon tab allows you to search your tool, work with trend chart configurations and data logs, authorize Toolkit licenses, and view and edit Toolkit options. For more information on working with trend charts and data logs, as well as licensing toolkit, see the toolkit help or the video tutorials on these subjects. On the right hand side above the ribbon is the toolkit window toolbar. The toolkit window toolbar has tool page history navigation buttons, a tool page drop down navigation component, and the connect and disconnect buttons. At the right of the Toolkit window toolbar is a button that allows you to collapse and expand the ribbon. Under the ribbon is the Start panel. The Start panel has three sections, the Recently Opened Tools, the Recently Opened Settings, and the Recently Opened Data Logs. At the bottom of the main window is the Status panel. The Status panel displays the connection state, connection details, as well as parameter editing limits and data logging state. There are multiple ways to open a tool in Toolkit. You can select the Open Tool ribbon button and select the tool from the Open dialog. Once a tool has been opened in Toolkit, you can select the tool from the MRU list of the Open Tool ribbon button or from the MRU list on the Start panel. You can also double-click on a tool file in Windows Explorer or drag a tool file from Windows Explorer onto a Toolkit window. Once a tool is opened, you will notice that the components on the page are disabled and don't have any values. To start to view the values from a device, you will need to connect to a device. To connect to a device, you can select the Connect button on the ribbon. The connection panel will display over the tool in the main window. On the left side of the connection panel is a list of networks available to connect over. This list is based on the hardware drivers available on the PC. See the Toolkit help for more information about which networks and protocols Toolkit supports. The right side of the connection panel shows the properties of the selected network. Different networks have different properties. Select the network the device is on and configure the properties of the network. Once the network has been configured correctly, the connect button becomes enabled. Select the Connect button. If the device supports security, you will be prompted to log into the device. Once connected, the components on the tool will enable and show values. If a component has an error, it will show an error icon. Hovering the mouse over the error icon will show a tooltip about the error. Components that require a security login will show a lock icon if not logged into security. 
Hovering the mouse over the lock icon will show a tooltip about the security requirements for the component. The status bar will update with a connection status and the connection details button will be displayed. Click on the connection details button to show the communications panel, which allows you to manage the device connection. If the device supports security, you can log in and log out of the device on the communications panel. To disconnect from the device, select the disconnect button on the ribbon, the toolkit window toolbar, or the communications panel. Most tools are made up of multiple pages. Navigating in a tool can be done in multiple ways. You can view the hierarchy of the tool and navigate to pages using the tool page navigation drop down in the toolkit window toolbar. Depending on how the tool was developed, Pages can be in a flat list or a hierarchy of pages. To navigate to a page, select the page in the Page Navigation drop-down. You can also navigate to the next and previous page in the Page Hierarchy, using the Previous Page and Next Page Navigation buttons on the View Ribbon tab. The Navigate Back and Forwards buttons allow you to navigate backwards and forwards through your page navigation history, much like an internet browser. On the View Ribbon tab, you can select the Navigation Backwards or Forwards history by clicking the drop-down button under the Navigation button. On the Toolkit Window Toolbar Navigation buttons, right-click on the button to see the history. To view the entire navigation history, select the Show All History item in the drop-down. The Page History pop-out panel will display in the main window. You can select any page in the Page History to navigate to it. Click on the Close button of the Page History pop-out panel to close it. If a tool is developed with navigation buttons, you can use the navigation buttons on the page to navigate to other pages. Toolkit allows you to search for text in a tool. To search for text in a tool, select the search button on the Tools ribbon tab. In the search window, type the search text you are looking for. Select the context you would like to search in. And finally, press the search button. The search results will be displayed showing the matching components in the tool. Double-click the search result you wish to navigate to. On the page, the component that you selected in the search results will have the search text highlighted. For more detailed information on searching your tool, select the Help button on the title bar of the search window. Some tools provide help that is specific to the tool. If a tool provides tool help, there will be a button for the tool help on the View Ribbon tab in the Help section of the ribbon. Select the Tool Help button to view the tool help. Some tools provide context-specific help in the tool. The right-click Context menu for a component will have a Show Help menu item if there is help for the component. Click the Show Help Context menu item to see the help for the component. Some help shows up in a pop-up over the component. While other help may take you to the help document of the tool. A tool can also have help buttons within the tool. Click the Help button to see the help. There are many different types of components that may be in a tool. There are read-only components that only allow you to monitor a parameter value in the device. 
and there are read-write components that allow you to monitor and edit a parameter value in the device. Examples of read-only components are gauges, text labels, LEDs, bar charts, and trend charts. Examples of read-write components are text boxes, enumeration drop-downs, and check boxes. To edit a parameter value in a text box, select the value in the text box. The minimum and maximum allowed values for the parameter are shown in the status bar. Type the new parameter value and press enter. The value is written to the device. To trend a parameter value that is on the screen, right click on the component to bring up the context menu and select the add to trend menu item. For more information on trending, see the Toolkit Help or the Toolkit Trending Tutorial video. There are many options in Toolkit that are configurable by the user. To view the options, select the Options button from the Tools ribbon tab in the Features section of the ribbon. Some of the options of the features discussed in this tutorial can be set in the Options window. The number of entries in the tool file MRU list can be configured. The option to always connect to the last selected network can be configured. The color theme of the toolkit windows can be configured. And the default location that toolkit searches for tool files can be configured. Select the Help button on the Options window title bar for more detailed help on Toolkit options. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the basics of working with a Toolkit tool.